So how do you guide a blind person? It's a question that I get asked all the time. My name is Amr Latif and I'm the founder of Travelize and we take thousands of blind and fully sighted people on adventures all over the world. So here are my top tips on how to become a fabulous sighted guide. The best place to start is by introducing yourself. Hi, I'm Liz. Hi, Liz. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you. Likewise. When you can't see, it's hard to recognize unfamiliar voices. So remember to say your name. So how does this whole guiding thing work? It's easy. Just ask your partner. Okay, so Amma, how do you like to be guided? I'll take the back of your right arm, please. My right arm. Perfect. Like that way I'm a step behind you. And uh, it means if you fall off the edge of a cliff, I know when to stop. Okay. <laughs> um, and see so your arm, instead of having it up, do you want uh -huh. to put it down? Uh, okay. Oh, and just relax it. I don't want you to end up with a stiff arm. Lovely. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, Off let's go. go. <laughs> Everyone's different. Some blind people might prefer to put a hand on your shoulder, or if they have more sight, they may just walk beside you. So what do you do when it gets a bit tight for space? Oh no, we're coming to a narrow bit here. Okay, the best thing to do is if you drop your arm behind you, and when we get there, and then I follow in behind you. Like that? Perfect, that's great. Excellent. Um, is it still narrow? Oh no, we've gone, we're through. <laughs> <laughs> you just wanted us to do the conga, didn't you, Liz? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Always let the person you're guiding know when the narrow space has passed by bringing your arm back to your side. So how do you tackle those pesky stairs? Remember to say if they're going up or going down. Okay, we've got some steps going down. Oh, thanks for letting me know. Um, okay, let's go down them. Okay. <laughs> you know, sometimes um, people think that they should count the number of steps, but I've just had so many situations where they always get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't want any disasters, do we? Oh. So the best thing to do is just let me know when we get to the um, last step. Okay, I will. Last step. Perfect, thank you. And always offer a handrail if there is one. You can take your partner's hand and place it on the rail. And don't forget to tell your partner to duck. Um, there's some low hanging branches coming up here. Just let me know when to duck. <laughs> okay, duck. Oh, excellent, I'm okay. Right, you Sometimes people are too busy looking at the ground and they forget to check for low hanging obstacles. When you're out and about, it's great to know what's around you. Some simple descriptions can help bring everything to life. This is nice, oh, isn't it? Oh, Amma, there's a beautiful ruined abbey in front of us. What's it like? Um, it's faded stone, um, it's got tumble down walls, and lots of arches. Wow, and uh, how big is it? Wow, I'd say the, um, where the roof is, it goes up to probably about five storeys. Right. But the tower is about seven storeys high. Oh, there's a tower. There's a tower, yeah. Actually, do you mind taking my hand and drawing the outline? Oh, great idea. It kind of yes. just gives me a little idea, Liz. Yeah, That'd be so great. here's the tumble down wall. Okay. With the arches. Yeah. And here's the tower. Ah, goes like that. Yeah, there's the rooftop. And then that's back down to the ground. Ah, and is there any windows? <laughs> no, they're long gone. <laughs> <laughs> but it's bathed in beautiful sunlight. Oh, that sounds great. Well, thanks, it's that was a great description. But don't worry, it's just like having a conversation. If you can't see, even a few simple descriptions can make a world of difference. Oh, look at that over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> I can't believe it either. Oh, no, I'm only joking. Um, don't worry about it. A lot of people say that, you know. It, I don't want you to feel like you're walking on eggshells. You know, a little slip of the tongue. It's not the end of the world, is it? No. <laughs> on the other hand, people can be concerned about coming across patronising. But I say, just by being aware of this means you'll naturally get the balance spot on. 
So, anybody fancy a bit of lunch? Um, this is our table. Okay, uh, the best thing to probably do is put my hand at the back of the chair. Okay, so that's your chair. Oh, fantastic. And then I've, um, I've sat in a few chairs in my time. <laughs> you know how they work. <laughs> yeah. You'll be surprised, like, so many people are um, trying to manhandle you into a chair. But I found that this is the slickest way to do it, really. Right. Oh, it's a huge menu, Amar. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> the best thing to probably do is read the different sections, then. Okay, um, we've got pizza, uh, Mexican, we've got pasta, we've got salads. Actually, um, salads is what I'm interested in. Yeah. And anything with chicken? Uh, yeah, they've got chicken and avocado salad. Perfect. Yeah. And I'm going to have an extra hot decaf latte. Okay, cool. What about you, Andrew? I think I'm going to... And when the food arrives, you can ask your partner if they'd like to know where things are on the plate using the clock face method. Chicken's at six o'clock. Okay, we're coming up to the door, Emma. Okay, so just let me know if it's opening towards me or away from me. Okay. And whether the hinges are on the left or the right. Okay, um, okay. so the door swings away from you and okay. the hinges are on the right hand side. Super, so if you want to head through okay. and I'll follow your lead. Right. Brilliant, and I'll take the door on the right, thank you very much. Nice stuff. Ah, fabulous. That's yeah, pretty decent in there. Yeah. Remember, guides always need to go through first. It's hard to guide from behind. With hotels, it's great to know where things are. So ask your partner what they'd like to know. Fantastic. So, Andrew, what would be really helpful is just a little orientation. Just let me know, for example, where the towels are, bedside table, okay. power sockets, right. and air conditioning. Okay, oh, no Thanks. problem. Okay, so, well, this is the foot of the bed here. Ah, okay. Okay, and uh, your towels are at the foot of the bed. Okay. Good. You've got um, bedside tables either side, and there's actually plug sockets on both sides oh, of the fantastic. bed as well. And the air conditioning is just over here. Oh, right. brilliant. So I can, can keep cool at night. Yeah, definitely. Oh, brilliant. Um, but the most important thing that I like to know is, is there any biscuits? Biscuits. <laughs> okay, um, there aren't any biscuits, have I? No! no. Oh. <laughs> you do have a kettle though, and a mug uh, at the left hand side of your bed. Oh, okay, I can at least console myself with a cup of tea. Yeah, but no biscuit. No biscuits, <laughs> no. <laughs> and in the bathroom, it's helpful to know which is the shower gel and which is the shampoo, and also how the shower works. Looks like your chariot's arrived, Emma. Oh, great. Just place my hand on the door handle. Let me know whether it's left or right, and obviously whether it's the front door or the back door. Okay. <laughs> uh, there's the handle. Yeah. Uh, the car's facing left, and it's the front seat. Front seat. Oh, great, Andrew. That's perfect. Well, thank you very much. No problem. Au revoir. I'll see you later. Bye. Hello, driver. How are you doing? Good. Right, let's roll. Now, if that seems like a lot of things to remember, trust me, it soon becomes second nature. Remember, the golden rule is communication. Because everybody's different, it's always best to ask. So, now that you're all experts, why not join Travelize on our worldwide travels and share the adventure? We hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like and subscribe for more great content. For further information, please visit travelize-international.com.